These social media morons publicly insulted Mexican cartels with El Parada saying, Okay, already, um, why? Setting the scene for why this is a dumb idea. Born April 2000 in the state of Sinaloa, the pirate was from one of Mexico's most dangerous states. Should I even be watching this? Like, am I in trouble now? <laughs> States. Both his mother and father left him at birth, leading to a difficult life full of alcohol addiction. All right. I get it. That sucks. It's a bummer. That's not the way you want to start. Although, ironically, this made him a social media superstar. El Parada had his friend film him drinking <laughs> from a bottle, preparing oh it for the aftermath. Of oh, I've seen that video. God, I hope he was. At least of age, right? When it all kicked in. That's a crazy way to do YouTube TikTok. El Della Red Label, but didn't expect a viewership of over 300,000. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. All right. Well, when he realized that his excesses were pleasing to the internet, he knew what his shortcut to popularity was, turning his drunkenness into a profession. He'd start posting... Oh, God, this is a couple of my friends video after video of his drinking escapades, they don't get paid for it. always pouring the beverage about an inch above his mouth in the exact same way as his first viral video. This in combination with his small strange appearance made El Parata so extremely memorable, people began to dedicate public statues to him. <sighs> That's all right. He'd therefore expand his social media to include cars and women, which grew his Facebook following to over a million and what? his Instagram to 300,000. Suddenly, he was have being a paid over $1,000 just to show up at a club for a night, although this would always come with one specific problem. Uh, Every time to El drink. Parada drank, he'd become extremely vocal and borderline aggressive to the extent that he was arrested on more than... Bro, he looks like a child. Like, how old is he? I guess he's in... Oh, this isn't in America. This is a different country. Oh, he's still in Sinaloa. Okay. I wonder what the rules there are. Because he looks... He looks kind of like... You know, he has that baby face. That sucks. And that's the worst kind of drunk. Whenever you drink, you don't become like a fun drunk. You just start picking fights. On one occasion... In a 7.6 million view video, uh, translating to the pirate response to comments, he spends over three minutes simply yelling at his audience, <laughs> giving them... Uh, I love how... To be fair, he's being rewarded for all of this. Like, it's not like... Yeah, it makes sense, man. If, if 7 million views? God impression that he thought himself invincible. This would be curbed to some extent when he'd hire a social media manager named Beto Sierra who encouraged El Parada to give up the drinking to increase the longevity of his life and career. Spanish YouTuber Pepe Garza also confronted El Parada about his drinking, questioning haven't you started to think that if you drink a lot of alcohol, at one point it can poison you. The yeah. The human body isn't made for that, to which El Parada responded immaturely. People always tell me, my friend, how can you handle so much? I just laugh and tell them, well, I don't know. I don't know how I handle so much, to which Pepe again responds, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you do it every night. I don't like it very much. This is going to get out of control. When he's then asked, where do you see yourself in three years time? El Parada admits that he wants to get sober and instead would like to have a career in music. <laughs> Whatever you say, you know, I'd, I'd like to get sober, hopefully. I mean, I, I'm not trying to make fun of and downplay, you know alcoholism or an addiction really and leave behind this stage characterized by his drunkenness i want to learn to sing now that will be my motto i want to be on stage but singing and putting on a show taking steps to make this happen he'd appear in music videos which only further added to his image as a drinker especially <laughs> with a dead. band member stating there are a lot of people who criticize him but the truth is that's why el parada got started yeah like basically since childhood he's just known for chugging so of course he can't if he gets rid of that person what's left 
Because he's not, yeah, it makes sense. But it would also become the way that El Parada ended. After yet another heavy drinking session, El Parada was filmed insulting Mexican cartels, specifically with the... Bro. <laughs> That's so scary. That's so bold, too. Praise El Mencho suck my wiener. <laughs> well, let's see how that went. I'm <laughs> pretty sure it didn't go well. Mencho's the head of the CJNG, aka Mexico's second most powerful cartel. His capture offers a bounty of $10 million <laughs> as he's considered one of Why? Mexico's most dangerous people. Therefore, El Parada's call out was not a smart thing to say. I would say that this might have been one of. I'm willing to bet that was the worst decision of his life, especially living in country. Say about a man who will execute your whole family based on not much more <laughs> oh than a rumor. God. He just has zero regard for human life. <sighs> you know, we, we complain about, you know, a lot. Got <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> But what about free speech? It doesn't exist to the cartels, which have been linked to the murder of at least 12 journalists this past year. El Parada seemed to think very little of his call out as on the 18th of December- Dude, I, I would have woken up and then someone would have been like, hey, do, do you remember what you said? And as soon as he told me or showed me the video, cause there's proof of it, I, I would go into some serious hiding, obviously. I wonder if he was just like, ah, it's fine. It's like I texted. It's, it's like drunk texting. You wake up and you're like, what did I say? December 2017, he went about his day as if it were any other. As the evening drew closer, El Parada met with hot Spanish vlogs and Ben El Gringo. <sighs> 10 million subs? What am I doing wrong? I mean... Don't answer that. <laughs> Preparing for what was supposed to be another fun night on. Seriously, how old is he? He it looks like he's seventeen at most. The town. In fact, El Parada was having such a good time. He'd post the location of where he was headed, telling his fans to meet him at the bar. However, instead, he'd be met by four men driving in a black truck who assassinated El Parada only a minute after getting. Okay, I thought there was going to be more of a lead up. Uh, there, there wasn't. <laughs> oh, God. Bro, but why? Like, why even like... ...to the bar. The attack was clearly specifically targeted because as explained by hot Spanish... The broccoli head. Man, that really, that trend has made it everywhere. Guys, this is natural. Vlogs, it's clear they didn't want to hurt me, my friend, or any of the girls because if they wanted to, they could have done so easily. All right, so they were kind of nice about it. Like, they, they, he understood, like, like, this guy just. I'm not advocating. <laughs> I'm just not even gonna say, that's crazy, though. Wow. His funeral was held in the days that followed, with El Parada's social media manager writing, we talked so many times about quitting alcohol and living life too That is fast. pretty tragic, because, you know, like, he just, that's kind of all he knew. He said something based, God, it, oh, he was only, see, he was young. I just can't imagine thinking that was a good decision. And... I would have posted so many apology videos. I don't even know. It probably wouldn't matter at that point. But, fuck. But you never listened. And I don't judge, only you knew what you were doing. Those who knew you knew you were a good person. God have you in his glory. Those responsible for his death have never been apprehended. But the CJNG only seems more obvious after exploring the fate of TikToker El Chene. Okay, guys, I don't have TikTok. So forgive me if this is all old or news or something. El Parada and El Chinito lived in the same city, both having become oh, famous no. for their goofy vertical videos. El Chinito therefore felt hurt by El Parada's death and uh. just 17 days after would call... Oh man, that sucks. 
Because it's not going to go well. Call out the cartel as well. Why? You don't have an army. (sighs) And even if you... In the 31 second video, El Chinito... All right, look. I'm almost doing the same face, the emoji on the... (laughs) Look, that's... You'll call me a pussy, I guess, because there's no... <sighs> ...states, I don't give a crap about El Mencho, then proceeds to call him stupid and threatens to drive to his city to find him. In case this wasn't dumb enough, El Chinito then... I just don't understand it, like announces where he lives but it would only be after the call out went viral that El Chinito realized he'd made a huge mistake I don't what it what was the expectation then like if it I don't get it that was oh my god that's just not smart thinking the following morning with a blistering hangover El Chinito apologized okay all right, see, all right, so this is the, the route I would have gone, but also, like, it, it can't me, be El good. Mencho. I was very drunk and wasn't in my senses. I am sorry. My respect to the old man subsequently disappearing to keep a low profile. All right, cool, that would have been my plan. That. Oh, that's what was happening. I was like, why does my phone keep... Doing some, you trying to use my my AR glasses? Okay, let me um, let me just forget them for now, because I don't know how to make it so that. Love how you make an appearance on the first episode of my reaction. You're good, dude. Do what you gotta do. I mean, do you have to be right here? Okay, I love you. You look women in tech. <laughs> You're so cute. El Chinito had been executed by hired assassin. <laughs> oh my god. That's the worst, too, because now it's like, should I even have apologized? But I mean, he tried. But this would be disproven by Margarito. Oh, music. okay. He'd find it's El fine. Chinito in his hometown, who instead of dying had rather gotten married. No. <sighs> and also had a baby on the way. He now He's uses trying to TikTok look for to sympathy at his life. Not like sympathy, but like, hey, maybe just let me be. I got a family. I've changed my ways. I did ask for an apology. I did apologize. I have moved on. But I would have left social media. Like, I've never returned. Never. There's no reason to. Your Your life's on the line clearly surviving his cartel call out. I think the apology video saved this guy's life. Illuminati 6, <sighs> however, wasn't- Oh, quite- he did! Oh, there's a happy- Oh, hell yeah. Let's go! I'm probably gonna go follow that account now. So lucky. That's he nice. Yeah, that apology. On cartel has a heart. One of which being, I dare you to challenge El Mencho. Well, Illuminati 6 had zero hesitation. Bro. Look, I understand the power of double dog dares. It's it's insane. Like, seriously, I understand that if you said that to me and I was on camera, I might say something dumb. So let's see how this works out. Listen here, you son of a bitch. El Mencho, you can suck my wiener 100%. Okay, look. He didn't have to go there. This guy, there's no apology video for this guy because he's clearly sober. I don't sleep like El Parada or El Chinito. I'm immortal, untouchable. I made a pact with the devil. I came to give you fire, Mencho. I'm not scared to say this. Look, so here's the thing. And it's not like he wants, I, I, you know, I'm not even going to try and psychoanalyze any of these individuals, but if you keep getting, if you get called out, and you let someone live because they put an apology video out, that sets a precedence. Now you know he's coming after you. There's going to be some hired assassins, and it's over 
for you. But this guy's just like, he doesn't realize it. Like, he thinks that he's, he's oh, because they let the other one go. I'll say it without the camera. Mencho can suck my balls. The comments <sighs> rolled in instantly. This man is... <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Holy crap. Just imagine that. Like, what do you even... How do you not live in, like, just complete fear from the second that's uploaded? He's already dead just because they haven't warned him. This little boy has his days numbered. Not even the devil is going to save and like, him. Is Illuminati it just for views? Realized his mistake and uploaded a second video begging for forgiveness. Okay, there's no way this is gonna work. It worked once, but now it seems soft because there's that whole you weren't drunk. It seemed like, you know, it it would come off very like I I don't know how these organizations work but they're not gonna just let it go i'm sorry for what i said i was not well i was wrong that day i woke no. up stupid i didn't look at that's the that enough i did that for followers i apologize we all make mistakes <sighs> man i uh it sucks. I don't even have TikTok. Mencho, don't kill me. I have a family just like you, but this only added That's more exposure to his original cartel call out. People began to joke, play the video of how they kill him. It would be great to see. But Bro, the internet is wild. I bet you that inter that video exists somewhere. But I don't think anybody expected that this would actually happen. It has since been theorized that the person in the video is someone else completely, but there's absolutely no confusion in the case of... Wait, so you lived? Fofo Marquez. He's best described as the bride who played play. the video of how they kill him. It would be great to see, but I don't think anybody expected that this would actually happen. So they okay. Oh, but they're saying it's not it the guy in the video. Been theorized that the person in the video is someone else completely, but there's absolutely no dead. confusion in the case of Fofo. I guess not around. He's best described as the Mexican Dan Bilzerian, <laughs> although without so many. The Mexican Dan Bilzerian. That's a bold claim, because. That dude's jacked, and all, how come everyone? I guess TikTok is kind of a younger audience, but everyone's like pre eighteen here. It seems. Women. His TikTok is dedicated to bragging about money. I've never seen a more ambiguous looking person in terms of age. That dude can be either. How do I go back a second? Nope, that's not it. Although without so many women, uh, his TikTok is dedicated. Look at that. That's a that's a fifty year old man, or a fourteen year old kid. I I can't tell. Oh, he's got a. Can't even think of his name. Rip. Hated to bragging about money, showing his private jets. And we know that's not his. This is it's clearly just there for something, and he's not supposed to be on that. Than driving luxury cars, but Fofo also hides the fact that he's from a mega wealthy family. Take it back, that was his dad's <laughs> private jet, and he got yelled at for standing on baby him. Isn't already unlikable enough. He refers to himself. As it's not that we don't like Nepo babies. We it just it sucks to see someone not earn all of their. You know, we we love a, a pull your bootstraps and. The American dream and all, all this stuff. Yeah, I don't know. As millionaire boy, uh, making what would happen next all the more satisfying. Fofo planned on doing a prank that would anger his... Bro, there's like a million dollars in cars right there. That's... This whole city. Drive three luxury cars onto a main bridge before parking in the middle of the road to block all lanes <sighs> of traffic. Okay, look. You should be able to do some violent things if you're being held hostage. 
That's why we have like the Second Amendment here. I'm not sure how that works in this case, but yeah. As he and his friend get out of the cars, <laughs> Fofo proceeds to state we have closed it for ourselves. This like, how do you not I resort to, to violence? What money and power can do. We've been here for several minutes. Let's do some TikTok dances. And how many people kind of want to get away with punching someone who's flaunting their so-called power? Again, I'm not advocate. I th I'm not a big fan. But as someone who's been hit in the mouth before, <laughs> it helps. Look, 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 this right here is power. I am the king of Mexico. Fofo put it on his TikTok expecting a positive response. Why would that While be? Why would that be positive? Under 24 hours, its virality was due to all the wrong reasons. Thank you, Fofo. You are an example for me. It is an inspiration to study and never be like you. <laughs> They stay undefeated. There's no way that, like, there's some, like, criminal overlord in that area that's like, oh, you think, like, they kind of protect the people in their own way, and... It's not going to go good. But his terrible prank reached further than social media. Mayor Pablo Limas threatened to bring charges against him for blocking traffic and endangering drivers on the road. Yeah. After the rebuke, that Marquez sounds went pretty... back to social media to publicly apologize. It yeah, stated okay. his apology, my comments about money and power were perhaps stupid, and I'll happily pay whatever fine I'm given. But the mayor responded to the apology. That's not enough, because it's, all right. It's, it's like the same thing. Everyone messes up. They do something they clearly didn't think about. And it had crazy repercussions almost, you know, to their life. To end their life. Oh, my God. Just imagine that. And they just don't care. And then they apologize. Apology by saying Almost mad that they're just letting him go. Community service, cleaning up below the very bridge he shut down, which Fofo Marquez was more than happy to do until the CJNG got involved. The cartel unexpected. See? Like a prophet. Bro, like, you, you know where you live. You know that, like... Unexpectedly issued a public statement. As many know or are just learning about, the influencer or scum named Rodolfo Marquez, who dared to close traffic, is an act we do not tolerate. We're the ones in charge of Jalisco and all of Mexico. <laughs> That's so scary. Imagine reading that tweet or post or whatever, wherever it is, and and you're like, All right. it's crazy that they have social media, by the way. It's crazy. 2024 is wild. And to you, Fofo, we tell you to be careful because we will not let you come thinking you can do whatever you want. Okay, so, was, so all right, once they use your name and you're A, a Nepo baby... As they said here, leave. Just you're gone. Toe the line. Do the right thing. Maybe I don't know. I don't know because now he's got to do community service under said bridge. Here in Jalisco, Mr. Mencho is in charge. If we see you again, we'll kidnap you, and not even the money you have will help you. And. You know that he's gone his whole life knowing that the money will solve the problem. I bet you they just saw that his apology wasn't that genuine. And they're like, well, community service isn't enough. And let's go down on, let's, let's do it our way. Sincerely, CJNG. Six days later, <laughs> YouTuber Dom and Guero met up with Fofo, who was... That guy looks like Ricky Martin. He's ...hiding out in his parents' mansion. Okay, look, I wouldn't involve my family. And I also, look, if someone, like Jordan, I love Jordan, he's the best, but if he was on here just boldly claiming things about the cartel and, and messing with them, I wouldn't go visit him. I, I, I wouldn't even text him. <laughs> I would just be like, you're an idiot. What are you doing? I guess I would ask him that. But I wouldn't seek asylum. I wouldn't go visit him. And being protected by 30 security guards. 
think of how much that costs. Th- those aren't free. <laughs> and not only that, but these security guards are like, well, that's it for me. Like, if they show up, there's not enough of us any, any, at any point. Throughout the interview, Fofo states... Those guys, <laughs> it's like wearing icicles on his face. Rich people are the most intelligent people, only making them uh, even more hated. He's gone. Rich people are the smartest people, said by a kid who inherited more than half of what he had. And it's not that inheriting money makes us not like you. It, it doesn't. It's just that you gain it and you act like you're still us. That's the problem. And, and that's, that's where we built resentment. I think that's really what it is. But when someone like Rich is like, yeah, my father's the owner of Google or whatever, you know? And it's just like, yeah, I can't hate you for having all that. That's fantastic. I wish I could be there. But I'm not. But if you pretend like you're the working class and you're out there, you know, doing construction, it, it you know, it's a delusional. Despite Fofo's extreme arrogance, the CJ and G never wound up hurting him. Did, However, just oh, man. six months. <laughs> that was like a really, like, I feel bad for saying, oh, man. But, like, how is he getting away with it? That's the annoying part of life. We've always wanted to, uh, to just hit this guy in the face. Like, not this guy, but just this type of person because he keeps getting away with it. Months ago, he brutally beat a woman. Dr- he needs to. Uh, I don't think I'm allowed to say what I want to say here, but um, he'll probably get what's coming for him during a traffic conflict in the parking lot of a shopping center. As a result, he's currently in prison, but that's still a better outcome than what happened to Pamela Montenegro. I'm not happy with that last one. That's not enough. Like, because how long is he in there for? And maybe it's just a safety thing at this point. No, that... Negro. She played a character on YouTube named Nana Palukas, initially posting innocent videos where, for example, she'd interview random shoppers. However, her content slowly made a political shift, interviewing government officials about the problems created. That's always where it goes wrong. And unfortunately, unlike a cartel run state, I'd imagine that if you don't speak highly of what's currently going on it's not great by mexico's cartels well pamela also owned a restaurant named a todos los santos around which the cartel began hanging banners accusing pamela of colluding with the government okay well this one doesn't feel good because it the other people were blatantly saying like you know awful things towards people uh, especially the cartel. So this is interesting. You know, these people are clearly just trying to better themselves, but it does go against the current, you know, what they got going Incredibly, on. Incredibly, even after this, she continued making her videos and working at the restaurant, although as Which a lot of people expect, would find as, like, you know, heroic. Well. During one of her shifts in the evening, two men walked in and each ordered a beer before shooting Pamela point blank and fleeing the scene. Wow, that's like some video game assassin stuff. They order a beer, they do their thing, they probably talked for a little bit, and then that's it, wow. That sucks. Not cool. Immediately, when security officers arrived at the scene after 7 p.m., the 36-year-old woman had already died. A member of the Acapulco cartel was tried for her murder, but was dismissed on the grounds of insufficient evidence. Ironic. Bro, everyone in there was like, didn't see him. Didn't see nothing acting as an example of the political corruption she often discussed. In that Mexico, sucks. you can't even make fun of politics without being murdered now. She was really funny. This is horrible. That sucks, man. Bro, imagine just making TikTok videos and the cartel kills you. 